In today's video, we played two golf courses. One, $20. The other one, $250. I wanted to see what the true difference was between these two golf courses. So I went out, played nine holes on the $20 golf course, and then played another nine on the $250 golf course. My goal is to break three under. Let's go. All right guys, it is time to find the cheapest golf course I can find on the internet. Um, we're gonna go on golf now, and we're gonna look at the cheapest rates. I'm trying to get this around like 16 to $20. We're just gonna go out and play nine holes. Golf now, golf now is the one? That, that's, that's got the hot deals? Oh, maybe we can find a hot deal. Wait, course is near me, come on, ask me again. Okay, location, let's, let's say, okay, here we go. Jupiter, Florida. I'm basically sharing with you guys my address here you go okay so first one here jupiter dunes which i played that's a par three course we're not doing a par three course we need this a full size golf course a little too expensive for my budget my budget's 16 to 20 dollars oh martin downs 15 to 25 We've got point sienna shout out henry that's <laughs> henry's course 19 to 29 henry you gotta lower that on the lower end dude um, Palm Cove, that's a good deal. 14 to 37. Let's, Lake Worth is the look. Right here, Lake Worth Beach Club. Lake Worth Beach Club, come on. Let's go down here. It's like, right now it's currently, what time is it? Okay, we're about to go play nine. It's 2.13 right now. What do you want to say, like three? 24. 3.24 is $23. No. Nine holes is what we want. That's $14, $14 for nine holes. I've never played here. That's what I'm making sure guys, I'm trying to make sure. Cause like I said, the next nine holes after this is gonna be the most expensive course. I'm trying to do two courses that I've never played. I guess right here, nine holes, $14. We are gonna do this. Lake Worth Beach Club. I think that's like a 45 minute drive from here. We're gonna head down to Lake Worth. We're gonna play nine holes, see what this is all about. After that nine holes is done, we're heading to the most expensive nine holes we can find. So we're gonna head down to Lake Worth Beach Club. That's the first course we're going to. Let's go. It's gonna let my hair flow. Dude, look at this. It's coming halfway down the couch. You can't put that in there. That's you get. That's you, that's only fans. <laughs> yeah, that's like that's some that's a take subscription model. Oh, the hair down <laughs> version. You gotta put it blurred out on that. Six minutes away. I'm nervous. Is this gonna be like a goat farm or is this gonna be beautiful? It's, it's near the water. So that already is getting me excited, but this is the cheapest golf course we could possibly find. So, you just never know what you're gonna get into. Let's see, I think this is the entrance right up here. So here we go, we're here. Sheesh. I'm actually kind of liking this so far, you know? First impression, I see the ocean, I see the intercoastal, which is a plus, and the clubhouse looks really nice, but it does not mean the golf course is gonna be good. Let's go pay, see how much this actually comes out to. Oh, she's, oh boy. The course is looking really wet. I actually don't know if I'm gonna be able to swing too well today, guys. I could shoot 100 today. Cause I went wakeboarding and I was trying to pull myself up and I, I stopped working out. I'm not kidding, like my arms here and my lat like in here, I'm trying to pull myself up on the wakeboard. Never got up, true story. Never got up one time. Grant, leave the board down, right? Oh, oh, it up for a Shout out to uh, Christian Polisic. He tried so hard to get me up on the wakeboard and I was just gonna get up on his boat. It's uh, 20 bucks. It's pretty wet out there. Car path only, yeah, it's wet enough to keep everybody in line, hopefully. All right, and if anybody's coming up behind you and you're getting ready to do whatever you're doing, just kind of okay. get out awesome. of the way. You don't want balls coming flying in your way. Yeah, yeah, sure, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, my round was exactly $20 on the dot, and then we got another cart, so that came up to 30 but. For this round, this nine holes, it's 20 bucks. Pretty good. That is pretty good. It's like, honestly, like a Chipotle burrito with a guac and a drink. Dude, 
food. I am so sore from wakeboarding. I cannot even explain it to you guys. Par five, let's send it. Is this the first hole? Yeah. I don't even want to talk about this right now. I just hit it the wrong direction. We're actually going this way. That's definitely the miss, for sure. That's the miss. We got some squishy fairways today. Let's go find this ball. It could be plugged in the earth. We got 230 to the front. I'm gonna hit this five iron. Hope I get a flyer. Just send it. Swing as hard as I can. Got it, we had a hold of that thing. I think it's just short. Easy little uphill chip. Come on, let's go. Right now, looking around at the fairways, you guys are gonna see a lot of this. You guys are gonna see a lot of big holes, missing bare spots. I mean, that's just how it is. Like, you're gonna see that. Can't judge it yet. I gotta keep playing, get a feel for the layout. So far, it's only 6,100 yards from the tip. So I already know in my mind that this is one of those smaller courses, the municipal feel. Oh. My gosh, not the new white shoes. A little short here, up and down for a birdie. Start off our round. That looked like that almost went in. Okay, walking up to the greens here. Well, immediately they have been punched. For sure, they have been punched. A little left to right, down the hill. That thing. Well, it almost actually bounced in the hole. So the aeration holes almost helped me out. Now, we got some slow greens on our hands today. Guys, if you want any Primo apparel really quick, this is actually one of my new uh, shirts from the new drop coming out. It has my initials right here. This is coming out soon. But if you want any of this stuff right now on the website, use code GRANT15. The discount code is in the description. Second hole here. Looks like a little dog leg right. I'm gonna try and play fade. Try and play some good golf. Try and play some good golf. Here we go. We're over on the left side here. A little wind into our face. I mean, technically, I'm in casual water. When I step here, there's water that's coming up around my foot, so I'm just gonna hit it. I'm just gonna send it off of the water here. Pick it off. We got like 110 to the pin. Eyeballed that shot. Yeah, we completely eyeballed that no idea on the distance of that here we go we got a really good birdie look on our second hole of the day playing nine holes out here that's it no way you know as bumpy as they are and as rough as they look they don't roll too bad third hole of the day once again kind of straight away we got water on the left it's like a birdie we're even par through two Not gonna get much roll out today. I could actually see the mud flying up. Let's try and break the ice here, make a party. That was, it. that was my best golf swing today, and it was a wedge. That felt great. We got a birdie putt, it's that same rain. We're gonna have to make this putt. I mean, there could be a little, little luck involved, but just gonna keep hitting them at the hole. Let's hope for the best. We got a solid look here up the hill. Hard to see which way it's gonna break. It looks like it's gonna go left to right, but just never know. That's the first kind of bad putt I hit. I feel like the other putts were pretty solid. First two rolled over end, end over end, but that putt was a little bit weak, weak effort. You know, I feel like if it wasn't completely soaked out here and you're just looking for a course with your friends you're newer to golf it's a short course it's forgiving it's a great place to learn golf at it really is i'm hitting seven iron 147 into the wind that's one thing i've learned in florida you have this much wind it's not worth trying to swing hard at a club and spinning it up into the wind just keep it low take more clubs swing easy just 
drawing. Pulled that just a little left. So what happens when you swing easier, sometimes you don't use your lower body. Your upper body comes over and kind of closes the face. So that's what I felt there. All right, we're pin high. Yeah, we controlled the distance. We really did. Now watch out, there is a lake. There's new ponds forming in the bunkers here. You got some wildlife. Look at that. Spectators. And this guy's about to eat my golf ball. But I went for it. Got a little aggressive there. Now we just gotta hit and hope. This is hard. I'm basically going up Mount Everest. It's like this and it snaps left. Oh boy, here we go. That's a tough pin. I'll give it, whoever put that pin there, it's a tough one, it's on the side of a hill. Felt like I hit a good ship rolled out to that distance. And that's right, we're one over now after four holes out here on the $20 course, Lake Worth Golf Club. All right, here we go. Par four, 317, straight away, we're hitting driver. Bro, you just drove the green from 320. How am I on the green? The people right there, they did not even know that I just drove it right there. Guys, we were, I hit that horrible. I actually hit that horrible. I hit that off the heel and pushed it right. It might have caught this cart path back here and rolled all the way up. We have an up and down opportunity for birdie to get it back to even. What the heck? All right, I mean, the hole's only like 315, but it's probably actually more like 300. Bro, you're pin high. Pin high here. <laughs> nice shot. Still rolling. Man, if these greens were fast, this would be the toughest green in the country because that is the most severe slope you could have. You'd never be able to hold this green. That birdie right there takes us to even par. We're playing through here. They let us go through. 160 to the pin. Test out the sand today. We haven't been in the sand yet. This is good, you know? It's good. All right, let's test out the sand here. This is a big thing, but you know, this is beach sand, yeah. See the seashells here? This is for sure, yes. This is the ocean beach sand. We're into the wind here on this bunker shot. No water in this one. That one's hard to believe. Gotta go find this rake. Straight up the hill here to keep it at even par. Let's go. Come on, baby. She wanted the bottom of that hole. She really did. Let's see if we can finish strong. We're even par. I'm not mad. 320. Maybe we can drive this again. This is downwind. But I think we can get really close to the screen. Make another birdie here. Perfect. Freaking squatted and turned on that one. <laughs> All right, going right at this puppy. Probably got 50 yards. Ooh. No. That was right at it. That was it, that was right at it. We might be able to chip that in. Straight up the hill. All right, let's get super aggressive with this. Straight up the hill, 56 degree. Back of the cup. Dude, you kicked right! Why did it kick right? That was my hook shot. It's supposed to kick left. It's not even, let's not even worry about it too much. Just get up and whack it. I didn't even line that one up. I don't know why, I was looking at that, I'm like, 
sometimes if you just do it quick, you don't even have time to think. You just react to the hole and they go in. This is what I wanted to see here, par five. We can get it, we can get to this one in two shots easily. I don't know how far it is, but it just looks super reachable. That was a drain. Or no, it was a frayed. A frayed. That was a frayed. It, it, it faded and it drew. A fru. Oh boy. This one's deep. Oh my gosh. I can't. No. No, we gotta go around. Okay. I mean, guys, I see multiple golf balls right here in this water, up in there and up in there. It's like, it's got to be one of my golf balls. I'm going to take a drop up in here. It's too wet. So, I mean, normally in tournaments when it was this wet, it's all your ball like in a puddle and you couldn't reach it. They would give you a free drop. So um, we're going to take a free drop here, letting you guys know. I mean, it's, my ball's right here. I, I had a great shot. It was on the right side of the fairway. It's in this deep stuff right here. So, take a drop. Got 200 yards. That drive was too good to lose that ball. Way too good. Get up there. Go! Just short. Just short. All right, here we go. Up and down, right to left. Come on. Hop forward, go! Dude, uh, gotta be more aggressive. I gotta be more aggressive on those. I've been leaving those chips short. Gotta be more aggressive. Let's just do what we did on that last putt. Let's not even think here. I like it. Let's just get up and hit this thing. Oh, I thought I did it. I thought I did it. Okay, that's a par. That kind of, you know, two pars on the par fives out here is, you know, where I've cost myself a little bit of shot so far. On to our final hole, the ninth hole. I don't even know where this hole is at. Oh, it's par three. Final hole here is a short little par three. 163 here, final hole, par three. Let's go right far with the seven iron, make a birdie. Oh, be good. Sit down. Oh, I think it's just over the back. Yeah, it's on the Dude, back friend. That was it. That was one of the better swings today. We are just over the back here, guys. We have one of the most makeable chips you could have. Went for it. start doing that more often Jeez. that feels dialed with the arm lock it's like there's no time to even think that was the $20 course now we are on to go play the most expensive course I can find which if we can find a course for nine holes for $100 that would be insane so let's go look find a course for $100 it's gonna be the next day Guys, it's the next day. We have made it right now to the $250 golf round. So we're only playing nine holes. It's pretty crazy. So it's called Admiral's Cove. It's here in Jupiter. So what it is, it's a $250 golf round. I mean, I've seen the greens. I've seen everything. I can't wait to go out here now and play nine holes or even par. So our goal throughout these two rounds is to be three under or better. So we got to shoot three under today. From what we just played, from what we just played, now going to this guy. It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. Guys, we got Aiden on the channel today. Shout What's out going to Aiden. On? He, he actually the one that got me out here. And this is a private course, so I got to know a member. I know Aiden. Let's see if he can tear it up. What is his first hole? What is it? Like, it's a par four. How long? 360. 360. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Come 
on, baby. That's funny. Come on now. We're getting better than that, honestly. Dude. We got a hold of that one. All right, we gotta shoot three under now on this nine. Look at these fairways. It looks like, it's just beautiful. And this is not prime time for Florida either. $250 golf round, let's see. I've never played here. You guys saw this place has a performance center. It's got everything one of those high scale golf courses would have. And wow, wow. I'm blown away so far, but I haven't played the golf course. Looking at the greens, they look impeccable. So that, the one thing now I know is like, we can roll some putts in today. I can't blame the greens. I'm missing pots. That's the one thing we can't do. Okay. All right, I got that drone up there tight, dog. <laughs> I better stick this thing. 97 yards here. Zero excuse. We're going right for it. 56 degree. Pulled it. Man, I don't even want to take a divot out here. I think that's okay. Yeah. It's pin high. I think it's just left. Spun a little left once it landed. I think we have an uphill putt. Man, the greens look like the best thing out here. That's what I got. I mean, so far, looking at this course, the greens look like they're the best part. Dang, Kobe. I mean, come on. Now. Come on. I now. mean, come on. Wow. What course maintenance? Wow. Actually. This is what you call night and day. I mean, you know, this is the point of the video, but wow, these are really good. Like these. These are nice. I can just feel it in the feet too. They're very hollow. They're just gonna roll super, super true to their line. Oh, oh my God. If you see the little picks, they're rolling. They were rolling good. They were rolling good there. That's a par. Man, and I thought I left that way short. That just shows how fast these things are. And it just rained. Even par now after 10 holes technically. I'm excited to see the rest of this course. Beautiful. This is like a treat. Second hole here, par four here. It's coming down, it's raining a little bit now. Florida is crazy because it's sunny and it's raining at the same time. Oh. Look at the T markers. Look. Look at that. They're on brand. Their branding's pretty good here at Admiral's Co. And I don't know if we're even allowed to film this place. So, could get a, a letter after this video is up and be like, I mean, it's pretty private. Like, there's a lot of security when you come in. And we just snuck a camera in here. So, you guys are seeing this course. Pulled that T shot just a little bit there. It's a good miss, though. I mean, if I went right, I was out of bounds. There's big, giant hedges here. This is actually a really tricky little hole. Holy beautiful. This is beautiful. Look at that green, Scott. We got 153 here. Out of the rough, I'm gonna punch an eight. Front pin. Let's break the ice here, make a birdie. Sit down. Sit. Caught a flyer. It's wet, got a little water in between the ball and the face there. It came out with no spin. I could I could feel it immediately, but I mean, don't be too mad. Center of the green, never played here. <laughs> Guys, look right here, look right here. This thing's got security cameras in here. <laughs> oh no, they're gonna get us. If this video goes live, I, I, don't, I don't even know, like, do they, do they shoot you an email and say, take the video down? Oh, just a little like. The cops show up to your house, the FBI? <laughs> I mean, wow, these greens are beautiful. Here we go. Paying $250 today for this, it's like, when you pay that much, you, you wanna get good golf and good greens, so it's like, it's pretty much worth it. I gotta go way left here. This is gonna, I don't know the speed yet, so bear with me here. Grant. Come on. No. Oh, that's a lot of work. Dude, it, it's a big adjustment going from uh, Lake Worth Golf Club. No shame on Lake Worth Golf Club, but it's a big adjustment going from those two, so it messes with your brain a little bit. I'll tell you one thing right now. Can't blame the greens. This looks about right edge. Oh. 
All good. Well, that takes me now to one over and that that truly is just like, I gotta respect these things. They look fast and I knew it was fast, but I just didn't know how fast and they're fast. Time to bounce back. Aiden just told me we got some insane holes coming up. After this, we actually have like a another 600 yard par five and then we have like a 240 yard par three coming up. So we still gotta get to three under. We gotta now shoot four under coming in. It's probably gonna be in the bunker. Thinking that's gonna be a little layup there. I gotta lay up here. 290 to the pin, water right. Four iron, lay it up. Stay short of the water, a little wedge in. You know, paying $250 to play here versus yesterday, you gotta expect some things. I mean, a lot of things to change in the quality of the golf. And hopefully y'all are seeing this in this video. This is kind of, the whole idea of this was just to compare the two and really find the differences. But I know you guys are able to see it. We got the drone shots, be able to really see this golf course, even the layout, the water, every little detail about it's crazy how nice this is. I'm blown away. 74 yards here, happy I laid up. Up and down, get it back to even par and then we can really start to chip away after this. We have another par five after this hole. thought that just went in. How close I'm, did it come? Like it like went over the hole. I landed it all the way back there too. Here we go. We got work here for the birdie. I cannot believe that. We just watched it back on the video there and it scared the edge. Oh, that eagle would have felt so good. You push that or did it move right? I don't know. It felt like a great stroke. I'm gonna stay positive. I'm not gonna start complaining about anything. It felt like a great stroke and I'm just gonna keep chugging along. That was a par on the par five onto another par five, but let's take a moment here. I mean, look at the flags here even, like every little thing. They got their like Admiral's Cove logo here. I know there's like a yacht club here as well. So I just, I can't believe we're filming it here. <laughs> Hotel hallway here. It's got to thread the needle. Come on now. I don't think he misses, honestly. Oh, that. You don't miss. That was the best swing of the day. Best swing. Lay up here with the six iron. Short of the water. There's a drone looking at me. Here we go. <laughs> Lay up. Can't even go for it. It's 313 to the pin. I hit a great drive. 135 pin, pitching wedge. I mean, I like how the water, like the little canal that comes around this whole green. It's kind of cool. Oh, we're good. Pulled it just a little bit to the left. Dang it. All right. It's all good, we're still gonna have a good putt. I mean, hey, back to back, 600 yard par fives. It's like, I can't get mad. That for me, when I hit a good drive like that and I have 300 yards left into a par five, it's just like, I gotta accept it. Gotta accept it. Up the hill, left to right, not near as a good look as the last hole, but it's still a look, it's a birdie look. Dude, they're so fast. They are so fast. Left side, snuck it in there. It's par five, that's a par. Now we're on to a 240 yard par three. I'm gonna play it from the depth. This is tough. Well, I didn't know paying $250, you're also gonna get the hardest golf experience as well so I mean this is 
This is like as hard as you could. This is top 600 yard par fives and now a 240 yard par three. And the second hole of the day was so tight. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not mad that we're only one over for this round. I think, I think we just need to hold it together here. It's actually 245. This is par three. It's downwind. I'm gonna hit a hybrid here. Just land it short. Let it roll up. Be good. Should have had the drone up. Should have had the drone up. That was that was it, guys. That was as good as I can hit a hybrid there. I mean, I cut it into that pin and I still have 30, 20, 30 feet. So I mean, look around also over here. Look at this. Look at these little attention to detail things. Look at that. Little Admiral Cove. Look, yeah. Is that for your old tees? Look at that. That's for your old tees. I mean, Italia, come on now. Come on now. Dude, I cut that thing. Like, that was one of my career shots, guys. I cut that thing in to this pin. It landed over there. I honestly, I don't believe I could have got that shot any closer unless I landed up in the rough there. I mean, there's this slope just push my ball right. Let's make this birdie. This would be the most unexpected birdie of the day. Gonna let it fall in there, right to the left. Oh, let's go. Let's go, baby. 245 oh yards. I just par go, three birdies. I, I just go par par. I go par par on two par fives, which you would expect to birdie, but the birdie the hardest hole out here. Crazy. Now we're back to even on this entire video. Let's see what we can come in at. Come on. Here we go, guys. Well, this is one hole. We're up to a drivable par four. I'm gonna go right after it. It's about 285 to the pin, little crosswind. I'm gonna have to hit this really good to get it there. The tips are all the way back there. This is one hole. I wanna make it fun. So I wanted to play one tee up here. Try and go for it. Here we go. Oh, I blocked it. Get it there. I had it. I just bailed out a little bit to the right. That was a perfect distance. I, I love a course that has drivable par fours. I think at least one drivable par four on a golf course is great. I think there should be a hole where you can get after it, but shout out Matt Sharp. Drivable par fours. Matt knows drivable par fours better than anyone, so. Up and down here for the birdie. Actually, it's a, it's a pretty simple up and down. I don't want to speak too soon, but it looks pretty simple. Up and down here, right to left. This is pure. I mean, there's nothing to blame but me. No way. No way. No way. No way. Dude, I hit that so good. That that just shows, man. These greens are rock hard and they're challenging because I, I opened that face up a little bit, tried to spin it. Felt great, but you win some, you lose some. Come on now. A little left to right. Like it. Come on, let's make it. Dude. What? Look at it go. <laughs> These greens are absolutely nuts. And I, I just felt like I hit two perfect golf shots. Okay, got this for par. That's a hill right to left. Well, you hate to see that on a drivable par four. It takes me back to one over now. Three holes to go in this entire video, guys. Hopefully you all have enjoyed this so far, seeing the difference. Three holes to go, guys. This hole looks insane. I mean, I've said that like every tee shot, but this one's like wild. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let's just send it at the pin. Good. A little low on the face. It was like a thin little runner, but it's finished strong here. Downwind, 144. Pigeon wedge? No, I actually have a nine iron. It's a punch. Looks good. 
Oh, come on in, mate. He's so good. There it is. That was it. Come on. That's what I wanted to hit all day, that tight little draw in there. Finally did it. I don't know what it was. You were in like 50 yards right of the pin. Was that really? Yeah. Oh, that felt so good. That one is close. Come on. Up the hill. What is that? Five, six, probably six feet there for birdie up the hill. One thing that I'm learning about these greens is they are rock hard. So they could be new. That's one thing with rock hard greens like this, the roots haven't grown in yet. Now it's, that's usually what makes them pretty hollow like this and rock solid. Here we go. Right to left, up the hill. Boom, baby. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for that one. That was good. I didn't, uh, I didn't think that was going in, so. There we go, guys. Back to even par. Couple more holes to go. There's some wet towels over here, so we're gonna, we're gonna help ourselves to a nice minty wet towel. You'll start shooting a couple under after this, but, uh. Are these like a must? It is, yeah. It is. You just gotta. Oh. <laughs> Run it through the hair a little bit, get the grease out. Here we go. Wow, what a hole here. So our 17th hole of this video is a par three over the water. It's 209 to the pin. We're going with a five iron here. Let's go right at this puppy. These par three performances, we're, we're getting better with the irons in our hands right now. These are, I mean, if you shoot even on these par threes out here from the tips, you're doing something. You know, guys, you're also gonna get a little bit of aesthetics that you're paying for as well. You got these beautiful flowers here coming out. I mean, look at this, just look. And over the water, you got a beautiful bridge, rocks, greens look perfect. For sure getting some aesthetics. Great look here for the bird, up the hill, left to right. I'm feeling this one, Sky. I'm feeling this one a little bit. It's just a big breaker left to right. Got to judge it. Thought I had it. I actually, that, I, that felt like a great stroke there. Um, can't be mad. I think I overread it just a little bit. I thought it was really gonna snap to the right, but it didn't have as much break as I thought. On to our final hole here. Then after this hole, I'm gonna let you guys know my brutally honest thoughts on the $20 round versus the $250 round. Final hole. It looks super intimidating here. There's rocks guarding the green water. I gotta thread the needle here. That's a good miss hit there. I was not comfortable over that at all. Final shot of this video. Here we go. Come on. That's it. Good Get a shot. little nipper in there. That was it. These greens are so rock hard that I have to spin it and land it on the front of the green to even get it to stop in time. It's crazy. This is to finish this entire video one under par if I make this. It's gonna be pretty cool. I'll take it. I mean, it's a huge adjustment going from the two courses, so it's kind of cool to adjust on the fly. Here we go. This looks about dead straight. I'm not messing around. Oh! oh. Hey. We, so we used the whole cup there, but guys, that is one under after we played a total of 18 holes. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. We're gonna head over to the car now. Shout out to Aiden. Yes, sir. For having me out today. We're gonna head over to the car now. We're gonna talk about the $20 round versus the 200. Compare them, just let you know my thoughts. All right, guys, well that wraps up the entire video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I had a really, really fun time. You know, the last two days, getting to experience two polar opposites and adjusting and you know, after 
a $20 round and a $250 round. At the end of the day, you're both playing golf. The one you're playing a course that is truly, I mean, that was truly an amazing experience getting to putt on those greens because they were rolling so pure and everything was manicured perfect. But if you want to get out and play some golf, I'm not paid to say this, but Lake Worth Beach Club or Lake Worth, I think it's Lake Worth Golf Club. Saw a little spot with your buddy. So until next time, peace.